I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on word problems based on fractions and mixed numbers. Here are four questions in which we will be doing the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. I would like you to pause the video, copy these questions, solve them and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the solution of the very first question. Question number one here is Anna's family is moving. She packed two 3x4 boxes on Saturday and three 2x5 boxes on Sunday. How many boxes did she pack on the weekend? So the strategy to work with mixed numbers is to write them first as improper fractions, right? So we say that she packed two 3x4 boxes. So two 3x4 means what? We'll multiply 2 by 4 and then add 3. So that becomes your numerator. The denominator remains as 4. So what you get is 8 plus 3, 11 over 4. So those are the number of boxes which she packed on Saturday. Correct? And then she packed 3 2 by 5 boxes on Sunday. So 3 full, 2 fifth. Again, convert them into improper fractions. 3 times 5 plus 2. That goes in the numerator. 5 remains in the denominator. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 over 5 boxes on Sunday. The question is, how many boxes did she pack on the weekend? Now, weekend includes both Saturday and Sunday. So, what are we going to do? We are going to add them, correct? So, on the weekend, how many boxes? So, it is better to add the improper fraction. So, we have 11 over 4 plus 17 over 5. To add these improper fractions, what should you do? We need a common denominator, right? So, so for that we need common denominator. Five times four is 20. So that becomes the common denominator, which is going to be 20, correct? So we could rewrite this as, we'll multiply the first, both numerator and denominator by 5 and the second by 4, correct? So 4 over 4 is 1. So 5 times 11 is 55 and we get a denominator of 4 times 5 which is 20 plus 7 times 4 is 28, 8 and 2. 4 times 1, 4 plus 2, 6. 68 over 20, right? So we do get the common denominator. Once you get the common denominator, you can add the numerators, right? So 8 and 5 is 13, 3, 1. 7 and 5 is 12. So 123 divided by 20. So you get your result, which is an improper fraction. Now you have to write back the answer as a mixed number. So how do you do that? So well, we have to divide 123 by 20. Correct? So it goes how many times? 2 times 5 or 2 times 6? Well, we can work with 6, 2 times 6. So 6 times 0 and 12 and what you get here is 3. So basically, this is equal to 6 whole 3 over 20. You get an idea, right? So that is how. You could estimate also Two holes and three holes. We are expecting more than five. Correct? We are expecting more than five. Now three fourth is very close to one hole, right? So so slightly more than six. That is what we got as our answer. Perfect. So these are the steps involved to add improper fractions and solve a word problem. So I hope the concept is clear. Now let's move on and take question number two. Question number two, 
Sam bought 8 liters of paint. He used 4 3 by 5 liters of to paint for the first coating and 2 and a half liter for the finishing. How much paint was left? So, so he bought 8 liters, correct? So from 8 liters, we have to take away what was consumed. So what was consumed was addition of these two, which is 4, 3 by 5, plus 2 and a half, right? So this is what he used. He bought 8 liters. So when you take away, you get your answer, correct? So in first part, let's do this. How to add, just as we did in our first question, right? So first step will be to write them as mixed numbers. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23. So you get 23 over 5, plus 2 and a half. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 over 2. Now, we have to write this with common denominator. You could make 10 as your common denominator. So 5 times 2. Now, you have to multiply 23 and 5 both by 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. So we get 46 plus 5 times 5. We also say cross multiply. Do you see that? So we get 46 plus 25. And then we can add them. They have the same denominator, 10. Now, this is another way of writing. So I could have written 46 over 10 plus 25 over 10 or like this. Okay, 6 plus 5 is 11. So we get 1, 1 there, 3, 4, 7. 71 over 10. So 71 over 10 is what is this addition. We have to take this all away from 8, right? So we have to take them all away from 8 to get our answer. Let's do it on the right side now. Now this time we are actually taking away from a whole number. So 8 over 1, think like this, minus 71 over 10. To make it 10, we have to multiply both by 10. So we get 80 over 10 take away 71 over 10. So that gives you 9 over 10 as your answer. So the answer will be written with units, liters. So we have 9 over 10 liters of paint left. Is that clear to you? Correct. So I hope you understand what we did here. First, we converted them into improper fractions. How do we get 23? We have 4, 3 over 5. We multiplied 4 and 5 and then added 3 to get the numerator which was 23, correct? Likewise, we did here. Now both we made the denominator as 10. We multiplied these terms by 2, 2 over 2 and these by 5 over 5 to get our result. So I hope all the steps are clear. Now let's move on and see how do we multiply and divide by mixed numbers. So the question here is how many persons can you serve eight pizzas if each person has three four of the pizza? Explain if some pizza will be left or not. Okay that's very interesting. So we could actually find the answer by dividing. But let me illustrate this with the help of a small diagram. So eight pizzas, let's say these are our eight pizzas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, eight. Since we are talking about three fourths, let me divide them into four equal parts. So assume these are all four equal parts of each piece, correct? Right. Now, we are saying that each person has three-fourths. Three-fourths means what? Well, three out of four. So, so let's say these are four pieces, so one person has 
three fours correct okay the other person will have another three fourth right so so likewise every person eats three fourth of the pizza now three fourth means three slices out of four correct so all are equal size so so these are all three fourths perfect so how many persons have had it one two three four five six seven eight can more persons have so we already have eight persons eaten but we are left with these slices so let's count now we could actually give uh, three fourths that means each is one fourth right each is one fourth correct so if i one two and three so if i add these it becomes three fourths is that clear to you well in that case i will get three fourths from here also perfect now it gives us an idea how many persons one two three four i mean each pizza three fourth eight of them nine and ten so we have ten persons what is left this is left one fourth one fourth left is how much one fourth plus one fourth which is two fourth or half so that is our answer so we can clearly say that there were 10 people who could have three fourth of pizza and after that half of the pizza was left now since they need three fourth half will be left correct now for most of the students we will limit our solution to this place right so we have eight pizzas divided into one fourth each shade three folds we know eight full and then one quarter one quarter one quarter three quarters make it three fourth likewise the other person can also have right so eight plus two persons have three fourths so ten persons get three fourth we are left with these two one fourth we are left with these two one fourth correct so two fourths left which is same as half the pizza now here is for some students who are in higher grades and understand more about mixed numbers and fractions correct so now what we are doing here is eight pizzas right we are dividing each into quarter right so that means we get eight times four which is 32 quarters correct eight times four 32 quarters we could write like this do you understand each one fourth right so we multiplied and divide by four so we get 32 quarters perfect now each person wants three quarters right so what we could do here is that we could think like this that 32 is divided by 3 then you get 2 10 and 2 remainder do you see that so when you divide 32 by 3 we get 10 and then we get remainder 2 that's better right so what I'm doing here is I'm dividing 32 by 3 so when I do that 3 times 10 is 30 and the remainder is 2 so 10 people will get and 2 will remain 2 what this 2 is 2 quarters so we have 2 quarters left does it make sense to you now 2 quarters means 2 out of 4 which means half pizza left is that clear so for some of the students who are in higher grades can understand the second method correct so you are up to if you are up to grade 6 this method is good enough for you and for the middle school students from 6 to 8 grade you should get into this division process that that is how we could see right so eight pizzas could be divided into 32 quarters each person is taking three quarters 
So 10 persons get 3 quarters. We are left with 2 quarters, 2 out of 4, which means half pizza left. Is it clear? So that becomes our second method of doing it, right? So we get the same answer. 10 persons, half pizza left, right? So we get 10 persons, right? So 10 persons and half pizza left. Correct? Because this is two quarters. This is two quarters. Is it clear to you? So that is how we're going to solve it. Perfect. Now let's move on and take the next question. So here's the last question, question number four. It takes one three over four of a minute to do one lap on the bicycle at the stadium. How many laps could be completed with this speed in half an hour, right? So I'm giving you options. Let's say we have four options. You need to select the best, right? So we could complete 15 laps 16 laps, 17 laps, or 18 laps, right? Tell me what is the right answer. Right? You should also know that half an hour means what? When we say half an hour, we mean 30 minutes. Clear? So that gives you an idea. Now let us see how to solve this question. Now it takes 1 3 over 4, so 1 3 over 4 minutes for one lap. Okay? Now 1 3 by 4, let me write this as 1 times 4 plus 3 7 over 4 minutes, right? So it is less than 2 minutes, you can estimate also. If it is less than 2 minutes, the answer is more than 13 divided by 2, 15. So we have something more than 15 as the right answer. Okay, let's figure out what is the right answer. So 7 over 4 minutes for 1 lap. So we want to find how many laps in 30 minutes. So how should we do it? Well, the strategy is like this. You always find the rate. So from here you get the rate. Rate means in one minute how much. So whatever the minutes are, we have to divide this one by that. So it is 1 divided by 7 over 4. Is it okay? Division really means you multiply by reciprocal. So which is same as 1 times 4 over 7. Do you understand? So in one minute, we do 4 over 7 lap, less than half. Do you see that? Okay. Now we want to know in 30 minutes how many. So in 30 minutes, this should be more. So we get 4 over 7 times 30. So that becomes our answer. Does it make sense to you? Right? So you could do 4 times 3 is 12. 120 divided by 7 to get the answer. So let's divide 120 by 7 and see what do we get. Now 7 times 1 is 7. We get 50. 7 goes 7 times 7 is 49. So we get full 17 laps. So our answer is C. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to answer this question. I hope that makes sense. Correct? You could estimate also, since this is less than 2, we are dividing 30 by less than 2. If you divide by 2, you get 15. Less than 2 means more than 15. Well, there are three options. So it's a difficult question to estimate. So that is the way to do it. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your suggestions. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.